spinner bait, dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, they're stacked down there, brother. You gotta work it really slow. Oh my God. Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Today, we have a river video for you guys. We've really been enjoying them recently. You know, it feels good to get out on the boat, get on the river, enjoy life, enjoy nature and go try to hunt those big bass. You know, we had like a two month break with the river where it was super flooded. You know, it was really unfishable. You couldn't really get out there and catch any fish. Finally, the water dropped. You know, springtime's coming in as well. We've had this warm weather come up, water temps rising, and the fish have just been biting and it's been a lot of fun. So we actually went fishing after a cold front in today's episode and we still caught some good fish, but before we even hop into that, I actually have a giveaway for y'all. We have a pack of Rage Swimmers, a square bill, a swim bait and also a wake bait. We got four baits right here. If you guys want to enter this giveaway, all you have to do, you got to be subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell, hit the like button on today's video, and also drop some comments down below on what videos you guys want to see coming up. But we're going to go ahead and get out on the river. Like I said, it was just a fun day on the water. We actually put in down river. I mean, you know, we were fishing tidal water this day. We didn't go way up and we got into some good fish. So Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hit that like button, enter the giveaway. Tell your boys about the videos down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. So we got this four aught straight shanks, regular worm hook. We're gonna be throwing a floating worm today. We haven't done that in a very long time. I think we catch some really big ones on it. Tighten it up with a uni knot. Wet her on up. Boom, pow, bubble gum worm. Caught a nine pounder out here on this thing. No weight, no nothing, just worm and hook. We work this a lot differently than everybody else would, so let's hope that we get some bites on it. It can be a really good bait, especially this time of year. That can catch some big fish. I just saw some action back there, you see it? Yeah. Really shallow. Yeah. Like inches? Yeah. Main spot, I usually catch him when I catch him. There huh. he is. Mud. A big mud. He's not as big as that. All right, he didn't break me off. <laughs> I was about to say, I saw my Sanko come off. Like, please, y'all don't sit on the thing. I'm gonna get my booty wet. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta use the water bottles as a, a little stand. Last thing I want is my butt wet right now. That was our first fish. A stinky mud. Dude, look at this. You see the teeth marks on the weight? That's actually crazy. Those mud fish are nasty, dude. Mean guys. So I started off with a Sanko today. I think we're gonna switch over to one of these Rage Crawls. These are black and blue swirl. Pretty dark color. Cody, am I going crazy or is that black? Maybe a little bit of blue, right? I see hints of blue in the crawl. In the... I think it's one. <laughs> All the other crawls have more of a swirl and this one's like black. Might be the lucky crawl. We'll see. Get our first fish. Feels good to get a bite. Worked our way in the back of this little creek right here. I think we're about to start getting some bites. It's gonna get good. He's running at me so hard. It's a good one. It's not big, but it's a damn good one. Oh, dude, that's a good one. Mmm. Dude, that's a football. If I know of a football, that's a football. Let's go. First fish. It's been a long little start. We just got on him. That's a fatty. Guys, look how fat that bass is. That is a freaking stud right there. Man, he's not big, but he is fat as can be. 
This is like a fattest little one pounder. I know the camera probably doesn't do the justice, but that right there is a football. I'm gonna start off the day with that one. It's a good sign. Got him on that black and blue swirl rage crawl. Man, is that a chub. Thank you, bud. There we go. That's the start. There you go. Mud. Is that a mud? Yeah. yeah. I can't really see him. I jacked him out of the water. We can find us a river monster up in here, dude. Looks so good. I can tell you how many times I've fished this lake and I've never been like this. My father in the secret. Oh my god, dude, is that a bass? No way, bro. There's no way. Was that a bass? There's no way. If it was, it was like a freaking 14 Ten pounder. pounder. Dude, that fish was so big. Did you see him? Yeah. Was it a bass or a mud? I think it was a mud. It had. It was way too big to be a Dude, bass. Dude, that I fish think. was so. I saw the boil was like this no, big. But yeah, and the. I think I saw like its fins and every like its tail is. It was big. Ah, <sighs> that just upsets me because we're running low on. Oh, I got one. Get it. That's a bass. What are you doing? That's a good one. Nice. We're going back up in this creek. Look how fat these fish are. Wow, look at this. Look at that side of his body. Got like some little black marks. Cody just missed a toad. And we got the second bass of the day. Not, not big, but a little fat chunky dude. Cody like hooks that. Dude, that fish was big, bro. Yeah, he broke me off. It might have been a mud, but the boil was like this big. Like if it was a bass, it was over 10 pounds. I've never seen anything like that, dude. That was scary. Just everything in me says that wasn't a bass. Thank God it wasn't a bass, dude. There he is. That's a bass. They're back here. They eat it so weird. I kind of chicken at it. We found some fish though, Cody. You lost one. Just caught that bass literally what three minutes late two minutes and 30 seconds later caught our third fish today what a little chubby pretty one a chub nice So guys, we're we're back up in this little creek right now, and usually, like I've never been here before. I've, I've fished in this lake, but we're far back here. Usually, you can't get this far back just because of how shallow it is. But the river's a little higher than we would like it to be, so it's been hard to catch these fish just because they're so far up in the trees, and you can't really get your boat up there. But that's why we're coming back up in here, and we're finally getting bites. You know, really shallow water. We're only on a foot and a half. And uh, we've had a lot of bites right here. And I think we're going to have many more coming up right here. But all we're doing is taking this Texas rig, throwing it up on all this cover, these cypress trees, lay downs, very shallow water. And that's how we've been getting those bites. And the bass, they'll hit it. And all of a sudden you hook set and they run at you like 100 miles an hour. And you really got to reel fast to catch up with them or you're going to lose them. That's kind of been the key for today. This is where I'm thinking they might be right here if they're anywhere. See those big culverts? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, could be good. I look like some fry popped right there. Dude, that's a good one. That's a freaking good one. <clears throat> Spinner bait, dude. Right there. We might have some fun right here, brother. 
There we go, guys. Got our like fourth fish, fourth bass on a spinner bait. That is a freaking fat guy. I thought he was a lot bigger. He looked like he was two pounds, but he's probably a high one with how thick that belly is. Pretty dude, Strike King spinner bait. That's what we're talking about. That's our first fish on a moving bait today. I hope they eat it because I love a spinner bait bite. It's been a minute. Nice one, bro. Yeah, that was a good little fish. He ate it at the boat. What's up? He ate it at the boat? Yeah. I was just slow rolling that spinner bait and what to say, dude, if they're gonna get on a spinner bait, I freaking enjoy it. What if they're stacked right there, dude? There's been a minute since I've got on a spinner bait bite out here. Something's telling me there's another fish right there, dude. Uh-oh. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. I might have knocked him out. <laughs> He's like two pounds. That was the best one today. Yeah. He hit it in the middle. I think they're stacked right there. You see where I just casted? That's where that spinnerbait one kind of... Unless they're following it out, but... I just high. slapped him in the... Oh, dude! No, that was a stick. Oh! It didn't move once that... <laughs> dude, that looked like one was grabbing you, dude. I that the first time I cast it. Yeah. <laughs> Your rod tip. Yeah. I did not mean to slap that fish on the side. I was hook set and he was already coming. I was... Oh my gosh, Cody. Dude, they're stacked down there, brother. You gotta work it really slow. Oh my gosh. So we're in the same spot I just caught that spinnerbait fish. The cast before this, I just lost a bass. These fish are eating it off the bank. There's a bunch of cover laying on the bottom. I just threw right back in there, caught another one. We could have had three fish in this one spot. Just a pretty fat dude. There is a lot of fish in the area and that's a good sign. That's what you want when you're finding fish like that. You wanna find them stacked up. You don't find them like that in the river often. So we're gonna spend some time here just dragging that bait on the bottom. You got him? Biggin dude? Oh, nice Cody. Caught the biggest one today on the fluke. Let's go. Let's go Cody on board. Dude, that's a thick chunky guy it is i'm gonna have to <laughs> give her an old yeah, spanking they've been bad they've been me. naughty starting to get on them nice nice you've caught them on a fluke before right yeah i've caught them on a fluke i don't think i've ever caught them on a weightless fluke yeah nice that's good he ate you out in that corner yeah that little dugout. yeah dude i was looking at that earlier it looks so good I'm glad that I set the hook on it. Yeah. He was running at you hard though, wasn't he? Yeah, you caught him right here. Yeah. Oh, to the right. Nice, dude. Well, now you got the monkey off your back after all them fish, bro. I know. Oh. That was a good bite too. I think that might have been a double cheeseburger with a side of fries, dude. There he is. 
That's a good one, dude. That's a good bass. God, dude, look how fat. Just missed one, and look at that. That's the best fish today. That's a two pounder and a one pounder's body. Two number, man. That is a thick old bass. Still munching the rage curl. He's using an old natural color green pumpkin. We ran out of black and blues. Still getting these bass, and they're just all straight footballs. Boom, boy. Give him a little spank. What a double cheese. Bro. That's exactly what we want to happen, baby. Oh, Twinkie. That's the definition of a 20. Nice. Oh my. That's a good one. That's a good bass. Right where he should have been. That's the fattest one today. Mmm, that's a football. God, dog, that's a freaking fat one. Look at that. That's probably the fattest bass I've caught all year. Hands down. That is the fattest bass I have caught. That is a good one, too. That is a meatball. Look at that, Cody. Oh, man. That is a fat son of a gun. <laughs> that is a football. Look how fat that is, Cody. Jeez. Is that not the fattest freaking bass? Wow, you gotta love it. Right there on that cypress tree where he should have been. Got him on the same rage curl. It's just a little green pumpkin one, a little natural color in this dirty water. Still working. Still working. One fourth ounce bullet weight, three extra wide gap hook. Making it happen. There's definitely gonna be another one around these trees. Gotta be. There he is. Oh my God, it's the biggest war mouth I've ever seen. Holy cow. I don't know if he's fatter. He is just as fat as those other ones. Oh my gosh. Look at that war mouth on a rage curl. That is what's been biting me down there the whole time. Super fat belly. It's just crazy how big these war mouth actually get. I can only imagine there's 10 pound bass smunching those things up. Well, we have just got off the water. Let me tell you, we had a good day. It was a good time. Caught a lot of decent little fish. A bunch of fatties. Let me tell you, these fish recently have been so plump. Just so filled and fat. And uh, man, it was just a good time on the river. We didn't get a chance to hook any big ones, but we did figure them out today. Ended up catching some fish. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new to the channel, listen man. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next video coming soon, baby.